what is up dtube steam blockchain so today i want to talk about my view on human protests it can be a protest for any sort of event or some some stuff the idea behind it is probably very noble in a way when you hear about it but how it actually plays out might actually be a little bit different so I mean, there's so many nuanced points in this, depending on what it is that people are involved in. But I want to talk about it more from a general perspective, not a specific sort of event. And my core view of this is I believe that a group cannot really be that conscious. It, only an individual sort of can be conscious. Now... This can probably, I mean, in theory, if everyone was like super conscious and uh, may, and if they went in theory and went in protests, maybe that would sort of work out. But then if they were all sort of conscious, why would they sort of go out and protest? It probably would, then would not make that much sense. But uh, so my core view on this is I believe that you that any one individual human being that transformed themselves that that is that is way more influence that can be way more influence than what a group is doing from an unconscious perspective so i believe a lot in the individual and that individuals themselves when they're ready if they're changing themselves that is when you're going to see differences in a lot of stuff. So a lot of people are frustrated about a lot of stuff. And from what I see, it's almost like it's coming to this boiling point where people want some quick fix to sort of change things. While the awkward reality is that a person sort of has to empower themselves and sort of build themselves up and transform themselves. And that that's going to be a very, very slow journey. And if everyone did that, they probably wouldn't have time to do a lot of other stuff. But at the same time, I do understand when people get annoyed about feeling powerless. And I do understand that the group can be somewhat nice to sort of have. And um, I do understand those sort of perspectives. And that I can also understand that a lot of human protests can be good. But I think that many of them just make some short-term changes that might actually be as productive as if human beings shape themselves into be wonderful human beings. Because what we're seeing in the world is just a... It's just, it's just our hum, humans' minds coming and going out in the world and doing stuff. And if human humans, if they had a calm mind, they probably wouldn't feel a need to sort of go out and uh, do a lot of crazy stuff that humans are sort of doing in, in groups. So at the same time, people can also do a lot of good things in groups. There is a lot of beauty that people have created in groups. But um, yeah, so it's kind of fascinating to, uh, to talk a little bit about this topic. Because I'm very, very passionate about these ideas that if, um, if one human changes how they are, they can, they can influence the perception of millions of people if they really work work a lot and if they really optimize their energy and their time yeah they can really they can really touch millions of people's life while it's a little bit harder to do sort of in um, like yeah you can get some people's attention with sort of protests and stuff like that but it doesn't it may not be something that lasts so my main concern is uh, that even if people do something, some short-term thing that changes some things, I'm concerned that humans then may use that as a quick fix 
to not change themselves or their own behavior. So again, this is a nuanced topic. There are so many different circumstances. There are so many good things that can happen when people uh, sometimes do protests and, and so on. And uh, yeah, so that is uh, a little bit about my view on this. So if I see a person, I like to be logical. So if I see someone do something crazy or screaming or being mad, I'm sort of wondering why is that person doing that? I mean, can't they just like, I'm never mad. Like I never had a, a sort of desire to sort of be mad or, but I mean, again, people live in different places and so on. So that's also one of the nuances, but if you really look at it, I think that a, lo a lot more people can sort of, like there really is not a massive point to sort of get mad or something like that for m most reasons. Um, most things can be, can be looked at calmly. Because I don't think that a lot of humans realize that, that all your emotions and all your thoughts they basically come from yourself so you create your own sort of experience in many ways on the inside of course on the outside a lot of crazy stuff can happen a lot of different circumstances we can't predict exactly what's going to happen on the external world but a lot of the stuff that's being played out in protests and stuff like that is people are acting out a lot of stuff that they're creating themselves that they could have just created pleasant emotions and pleasant state of being and uh, do some 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 other sort of activity so it's kind of fascinating to 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 consider that and when you really consider how how unique each human being is and their own sort of perspective and this is also something has been corrupted a lot those ideas that a human being is unique and, and so on people have been hearing it hearing it so much because people have been repeating it but it really is true but it's that it hasn't really um or if people don't look so unique on the current social media because everyone is just copying each other and a lot of people are just acting like a monkey where they're just looking what other people are doing and then they're sort of doing the same thing without sort of trying to give their their real so, sort of unique sort of insights which may take a little bit more conscious way of um, looking at things so yeah human protest is, is something that's going to keep happening because it's it's been happening for hundreds of years, thousands of years, probably tens of thousands of years, or maybe even millions of years, who knows. So it's going to be a thing that's going to keep happening, but many times you see that the only thing that... It seems like people should be focusing on ideas more than human beings. That it's like you can discuss events, you can discuss human beings, or you can discuss ideas and a lot of stuff that people are frustrated about is like the finance and um, so you sort of need to look at ideas how you can create better finance systems and how you sort of need to probably you need some new technology you know, some some blockchain you need some decentralized systems you need transparent systems uh, that are more inclusive that are more fair that are more compatible with sort of a, a global world and that is more i think that that would be more productive if you would look more at ideas about and and sort of understand society from that perspective instead it seems like even though yeah people do crazy stuff in leadership and people corrupt that people can be corrupt and um but when people are just focusing on people those people are going to be replaced by someone else that's probably going to behave the same way because you have to look deeper into systems we have that build up human beings and have we invested in building up human beings and um 
isn't it better if people just more look at it from uh, just mainly focusing on ideas to shift things from from the ground and more try to look at how the individual can become conscious and can start thinking for themselves and, and doing stuff for themselves and uh, then they can grow their sort of area of influence and then they can probably have a larger impact than they would have with let's say a protest to to yeah so that is what i wanted to talk a little bit about in this video and uh something that's very very interesting to consider so people have a long time looked at oh you want to do some change you need massive volume of people but maybe you don't need it maybe you just need people that have built themselves up and become highly respected and highly competent and uh, that they're also highly sensible and then a smaller amount of people can do a lot of amazing stuff and uh, yeah because they're they're way more productive and, and they're way more they know more they use more perception so they know more how to navigate the world and how to influence life for billions of people eventually well a lot of these protests it seems like they're very very short short impact events in many ways while it may look in the short term as they're doing massive stuff and maybe some of them are you know it's a nuanced topic this as i said but uh, yeah a little bit about my view here have a great day dtube and steam blockchain bye bye